Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So today I wanted to show you some new macros that I've made. I, uh, since my last video got pretty popular, I guess, because of the views, um, I've come up with uh, some, I think it's like three new ones, and one of them is um, like, well, all three of them are kind of crazy, and they have different purposes, and I'm gonna discuss like why they're good. So let's start with the first one. The first one is because, let me go in here and we go with this one. So this is gonna be a combination between two of them. Uh, in the previous video, I told that I have like my holy shield on scroll up. So whenever I'm scrolling up, I'm actually casting the holy shield. And a part of this one is that whenever I'm actually casting it, I'm also actually equipping this uh, Librem of Devoted. This is not needed, but in my opinion, it's like whenever... Uh, because we have two ones now for tanking. We have the uh, Librem of Avenging also. But if we have that one equipped, it's like whenever... Uh, during the 15 seconds when the Avenger Shield is on cooldown, we it's, it's kind of a dead uh, Librem. So this method... It's like whenever we are actually like tanking, we are automatically equipping the Librem of Devoted. And I'm gonna show the other one that is like re-equipping it if you are on like a uh, single target uh, trash or whatever. So so I, I'm, I'm gonna call this, uh, because we have this seal twisting for retribution. I've never, I, I never really understood it, but it's like you're changing uh, your seals. This is like a Librem uh, twisting, I, I call it. But this one is the, the first one. And the other one is this one, which is uh, equipping the Librem of Avenging and start at, uh, start out, uh, start attack, all, obviously, and then it's cast Avenger Shield. So on my action bar, I got the normal one, like just a regular Avenger's Shield. So for Avenger Shield now, I have actually two keybinds. One, which is the single Avenger um, macro, which is for single target. So if I'm on a boss, I'm going to use that key, key binding instead. So when I have that one, I automatically uh, equip the Librem of Aven Avenging and then casting Avenger Shield, which is going to make... So um, this one, uh, your Avenger Shield hits two fewer targets, but it will hit the target tw two times. So whenever we have it equipped, it it uh, it's like we're casting on it, then it bounces back on us, and then it casts again. So you're casting tw uh, twice on the same target, which is very nice on single target. But then we have on the... Because that in, in like our rotation with the, the other one, that I showcased in the other video. I'm gonna link a description in the description to that video, um, which is my previous one. But it's like on my my way of playing now is that it's like whenever we are on single target. If you look now, if I'm casting whole, uh, the holy shield macro, it automatically switch to devote Librem of the devoted. Like I said, this is not needed, but it's like during those 15 seconds downtime, whenever we're blocking, we're getting 2% of our total mana. It's not like we're having any like mana issues or whatever, but it's just nice to have always to always have full mana in my opinion. It, like I said, it's not needed at all. But that that's just the way that I play it. So in a combination of the two, it's, it's very nice to have. Because then, like I said, if we are on a... a For me, for example, I have that keybind on F1. Which is like... I know a lot of people that thinks that F1 to F4 is a very ran, like very weird keybinds. But they're just there. Like the F1, F2, F4, F, uh, F1, F2, F3, and F4. Like... Obviously, I'm not going to press the Alt F4 because, yeah, we're getting overpowered if you press the Alt F4, obviously. But, I mean, it's just nice keybinds. They're just there. So, and it's not that, like, 
it's like not a problem at all. So that's why I have it. And then we have, let's see it, uh, which one it was. Uh, yeah, I have also made a opener macro. So I'm going to show it on this boss. Let's just wait for it to reset. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. So let's show it on this uh, rare, uh, this uh, elite here. Let's say that this is a boss. And we are, like, let's say this is Onyxia, or whichever boss you want to do. And you want to make sure that you're, like, making as much threat as humanly possible in, at the start. To, to just have a lot of, a lot of uh, re uh, threat. So, this is not needed. But it's, like, it's just shield to have whenever you're going to start. So, in this macro, first of all, it's equipping... It's equipping the Librem of Avenging. So it makes our... The seal of... Uh, the Avenger shield cast on it twice. So first of all, it, uh, refresh it casts the Holy Shield. Just because we want the buffs with the increased attack power. And the increased spell power. Because of the runes that we have. One of them is... Uh, let me see, it is... Uh, this one so that one gives us uh, four attack power for each defense point uh, beyond 300 so and then it's the which one is it oh yeah it's actually on the talent which is over here which grants us two spell power for each defense power from 300 and beyond so it just makes us uh, like buffed before so whenever we're casting it, if I cast it now, wait, why didn't it work? Hmm. Strange. There you go. Like we're getting the defender's resolve. So that's the spell power. And then we have the attack power. So it's just going to make, make more damage at the pole. So after that, we're casting the seal of martyrdom. This is up to you. I have the Seal of Martyrdom. You could choose the Righteousness or whatever you're playing with. But I'm playing with the Seal of uh, Martyrdom just to give the raid and everyone mana. I, it's just been like that. Then after that, we're casting the Avenger Shield. And then Exorcism. And then Seal of Righteous... Uh, shield, the Shield of righteous, uh, Righteousness. And then Judgment. And then the, just the Seal of Martyrdom right after. And after that, it's just... You don't need to press this anymore. So, on the poll, even if you forget to equip the Librem, the, like, it automatically equ equips it. So, for me, for example, I have it on F2. So, where is the boss? Where did it go? Obviously, it disappeared. I think we can find another. There are usually a lot of elites here. Should be around here. Um, they're pulling it. Let, let's say this one. This is the one. So we're going to pull. Pressing F2 all the way until we're done. Okay. So we're going to equip it. Seal. Avenger. And then it's done. And then after that you just keep going. By that point. <laughs> so... And if you want to, I would not recommend this though, uh, unless you're like with a guild or whatever. You can also, um, uh, like, uh, I, I in that case I would use it over here, but uh, right after Seal of Martyrdom. Maybe you could change the Seal of uh, Martyrdom and then Holy Shield, but it's up to you. Um... Just for mid maxing. But if you want to, you can actually add the. Where is it? It's here, right? Yeah, the Avenging Wrath. But keep in mind, whenever you're casting it, you are getting the for, uh, forbearances. Uh, forbearance. Uh, which makes it so you can't actually use the Divine Protection. So. Because then you can't use it, so you can't actually reduce all damage taken by 50% because we have the glyph. 
uh, on our belt, which is the malleable protection. So you can do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's just the macros. It's nothing huge, but it's just a really simple way to just play the game, in my opinion. So it's just an opener. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna pull the boss. You just press that one. You don't even need to like focus on like, oh, I'm gonna use this one, this one, this one, this one. Because that at that point, you can just run, cast. Like you're just running towards the boss and like you can focus on the placement or whatever and just keep pressing it. Really. <laughs> so, yeah. It's uh, really up to you how you wanted to do that. I know I said that it's going to be three macros. It actually wasn't. But um, it's a combination of this one also. The, the one that I showcased in the previous video. But um, yeah, if you felt like this is helping you, that's awesome. So yeah, we're re really close in hitting the 500 subscriber mark. This is insane. Like I always say, I'm... Re really humble that people are sticking around and subscribing and liking the content. So, yeah, with that, I just want to say thanks for watching. And if you missed the previous macro video, you can press on this video. And, yeah, just, I guess, until next time. Bork, bork!